to our other top story tonight. Turkey in chaos in the wake of a failed coup attempt. More than 160 people killed when military rebels tried to overthrow the government. Soldiers blocking bridges, helicopters opening fire. Hundreds of pro-government supporters today waving flags rallying in front of parliament. Turkey's president is vowing those responsible will pay a heavy price. ABC's Alex Marquardt is in Istanbul. Tonight, with the military coup now a clear failure, supporters of Turkey's President Erdogan flooding Istanbul's streets, waving flags and marching triumphantly. This man telling us it is a victory for democracy. The president proving he's a great leader. This just 24 hours after chaos broke out across the country. At around 10.30 p.m. local time, troops in camouflage shut down two major bridges in Istanbul. Fighter jets flew low overhead, helicopters hovering above. Blasts at the Turkish parliament in Ankara, shattering glass and ripping doors off their hinges. Every time you'd hear weird sort of low-flying planes, you'd panic that it was like the Third World War or something. Gunfire in the streets as tanks drove on the highway. The insurgents shutting down Istanbul's airport, taking positions at the entrance. Travelers were stranded, including many Americans. The U.S. Embassy tweeting a warning. U.S. citizens in Turkey should shelter in place and stay indoors. A state TV anchor read a statement from coup leaders declaring martial law. But in the early hours of the morning, with Istanbul's airport retaken, President Erdogan dramatically vows to crush the uprising and called on supporters to confront the rebels. And as day breaks, the soldiers on their heels, surrounded by crowds and police, many of them surrender, some beaten by mobs, their tanks and uniforms littering the streets. And President Erdogan's supporters still out in full force tonight. He blames this attempted coup on what he called a small faction within the military that he says is supported by a Turkish cleric who lives in Pennsylvania. Today, he demanded that the U.S. hand this cleric over, setting up a diplomatic showdown between Washington and one of its most important partners in the region. Cecilia? Alex, thank you. And Turkey is, of course, a crucial ally in the fight against ISIS. But in the wake of that attempted coup, American-led airstrikes launched from a base in the southern part of that country are now on hold. Let's get right to ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz. So, Martha, will this hurt America's efforts to fight ISIS. What are your sources telling you tonight? It certainly will, Cecilia, for the time being, as long as that air base is closed. They have refueling aircraft there. They have surveillance aircraft there. They have attack aircraft there. And just because of where Turkey is located, it is much quicker to get into Syria and Iraq than the Persian Gulf. So this could have a significant impact the longer this stays closed. Okay, Martha, thank you.